This morning, there is a lot of evidence of the healing power of plants, and a new garden in East Buffalo is further proof of that. As Lauren Hall explains, it's a garden for the community, by the community. For almost a decade now, Dwight Lowe has found grounding and joy in the garden. I've developed a love of gardening, I could say at least nine years ago, eight, nine years ago. Um, I, I went through a, um, a depression period uh, where I lost family members, I lost um, friends, um, you know, through through violence and, and, um, and that's what the organization is about. He started the nonprofit Home Beneath Our Feet to share that feeling with others, especially young people. Through gardening, I found um, life lessons through it and um, that's what started building my curriculum. This spring, they've been working on a brand new sensory garden on Ellicott Street, across from Health Sciences Charter School. When you're dealing with trauma, um, you could become numb to your feelings. You could become uh, separated from uh, being centered. Uh, that's why we have plants as uh, a healing agent. It's in response to the violence that descended on the neighborhood a year ago. It was birthed from last year um, during a massacre. So we had a community cleanup day. Our cleanup happened to be on May 14th, about a mile away from the tops there. Um, and as an organization, we, we wanted to respond and uh, use this as a beautification piece. It's a garden for all, whether you're picking or planting something new. Anything grows and harvest is there, is there for the taking. Um, first one, first come, first serve when the strawberries harvest. Pick a pepper, you know, uh, you, even if you see any weeds, pick that. Um, it's, it's yours. Come and enjoy it. <laughs> so you love that? Love his spirit. That's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. There will be a grand opening for the sensory garden on June 17th. And Peter Melissa, you may remember Dwight and his organization, Home Beneath Our Feet. We covered them during the diaper and hygiene drive that happened earlier this month. Well, this week they announced that they were able to help 200 families. Oh, wow. Thanks to all of those donations and thanks to everyone who donated at Delta yeah. Sonic for that. We need more Dwights out there in yes, the world, right? Yes, and more gardens. Absolutely. <laughs>